In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you're having the trouble with Windows 11 update KB5070773 not installing error code install error code 0x80F0983 that is happening for many users right now then how we can fix it. So first of all, you have to retry the update, restart the PC or try again. So what you need to do is first and foremost step, you have to go over here in the settings, click on the settings. Once you get into the settings, you have to go over here, click on the Windows update. What you need to do is if you're having retry option, just try for a retry. If you don't find anything, just close it. You can do a restart. So click on the power icon, click on this icon and do a restart. After the restart is done, we have to go back and you have to check. Next one is all about we need to pause and restart the update. That is very important. To do so, we have to go over here in the settings once again, click on the settings. Now from here, what you need to do is just click on the Windows update. Now there is an option called pause update. So either you can pause it for one week or two week or three week, just pause it. So you'll be having an update option, just update it afterwards. For example, let me show you. Just pause it for two week. Now what happens is click on the resume update and that might work in some cases. If not, you have to skip it and move to the next one. Next one is all about we need to start and restart app readiness, Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. So to do so, we have to go over here, search for services and you have to click on the services. Now just wait so that it will load up. First of all, go to the app readiness, right click over here and go to the properties. Make sure it is automatic and if the service status is stopped, just click on the start. That will go over here and it is run, just go for OK. Right click on this one and go for restart. Now just wait for it. Once the restart is done, go for background intelligent transfer service. So right click on this one and go to the properties. Go to manual, you have to change this to automatic and just go for apply. Click on stop it. If it is stop it, just click on the start. Once it is up and running, now what we need to do is we have to close it and go over here, right click and go to restart and you have to wait for a little bit of time so that it will be done. Once it is done, what we need to do is we have to move to the next one. That is all about Windows update. So scroll down and navigate to the Windows update. Right click on this one and go to the properties. Make sure that you start th startup type is to automatic and the service status is running and go for OK. Right click on this one and go to restart over here. Once the restart is successfully done, all we have to do is just close this and you have to check whether the issue is solved. If not, we have to run the SFC and DASM command. Make sure one thing, these two are not one single command. These are two different commands. So first we need to run SFC scan now. Then we need to run this particular command. So this one, this alone itself will take a lot of time so what you need to do is just go over here so just go over here search for the cmd you have to run this as an administrator and you have to go for yes now what you need to do is now just copy and paste this particular command and press enter and you have to check this will take a lot of time because this is going to completely take this and once after this is successfully done you have to try copy this particular command and you have to paste it and you have to check and that might work next one is all about we have to use microsoft update catalog to update the windows update so go over here so this is the value kb50 so you should copy this particular value or the error that you're facing and you have to copy and paste this particular value here and go for search now what happens is this will search over here so this will take a bit of time. Now wait for this to get completely done. Now from here, you have to download this and install based on the PC's configuration. That is KB5070073, which is for X64 base processor. This, this meet my requirement. So I have to download this. After downloading this, you have to check. Next one is all about use option, fix problem using Windows update. So just go to the settings, go to system, go to scroll down, Sorry, you have to scroll down like this. Go to recovery. There is an option called fix problem using Windows update. Just go for reinstall now. Once the reinstall now is successfully done, you have to check it and that might work. Next one is all about we need to reset the Windows component. So copy this entire command. You have to copy this. Keep on copying this particular command here. 
once everything is copied we have to minimize this and you have to close it just go over here already have created one so let me delete this now right click and go to new and go to a text document now just open this now we have to paste the copy and paste it now go to the file go to save as make sure that you save this on desktop you have to do this on the desktop change this to old file and rename this particular one as woofix.bat and just go for save now as you can see this will be created here so you have to delete this particular file here now we have to run this as an administrator and you have to restart your pc and you have to check next one is all about we have to uh, use media creation tool in order to update your windows so go to this link that i'll be providing in the video description from here you have to download this and you have to install and you have to check because that will work so these are the steps and i hope this quick video is helpful that's it bye